Hi there guys, hope you're well, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the Amazon Echo Dot, which is now on the second generation, and how I believe that this could be a tool used by the NSA for surveillance purposes. So, with regard to the Amazon Echo Dot, you should be able to see it on the screen. So I'm on Amazon's website now. So it's the UK version, so you can see a UK price on there, but you can get this worldwide, I believe. So it's a little handheld, or the, the size of what it looks like it would fit in your hand device there. So hopefully you can see that. Now, let me give you a quick rundown of what its selling points, what its features are. So Amazon Echo Dot is a hands-free voice controlled device that uses Alexa to play music, control smart home devices, provide information, read the news, set alarms and more. Connects to speakers or headphones through Bluetooth, Okay, uh, controls lights, switches, thermostats and more with compatible connected devices from Wemo. Here's you, so this is the interesting part here, this is the, the bit that uh, I guess has prompted me to make this video. Hears you from across the room with seven microphones for far field hands free voice control, even in noisy environments or while playing music. So I'll leave this link uh, along with the other links of anything that I talk about on this video in the description box down below as well. So that to me sets alarm bells ringing. However, I understand that you need the microphones for this device to function as it's meant to. Now, not too long ago, there was a scandal with Samsung, I believe it was, where their smart televisions were able to hear people all the time and were recording conversations effectively. I look at this Amazon dot and I see exactly the same thing, if not more so. So this is not only going to know your preferences about everything, um, the type of news that you request from it, the type of food you like to order, the type of... Um, if there's any frequent times that you're going to be ordering an Uber and where you're taking that Uber to. I mean, it's very, very easy nowadays to find out a lot of information about someone with things just as Facebook, any loyalty cards, such as a Tesco club card, you can find out what types of foods people like to eat. You can check their debit card statements for how frequently they do things, if there's any patterns in how they they operate and function. Um, and I see this as yet another surveillance tool that's being packaged as a cool device that can turn your, your thermostat up, can order food for you, etc., there's also another thing that I just heard of about two weeks ago, which is called Voco, which is by Adobe. So I'm not going to play the video, again, just maybe due to copyright reasons, but I will put the link for this down below. This is a game changer in the world. So they call this effectively the vocal version of Photoshop. So you can... With 20 minutes worth of audio, you can completely manipulate what someone is saying by simply typing it in. So if, if they've got 20 minutes of your vocals recorded, let's say hypothetically, on the Amazon Echo servers, let's just say it records and goes straight to a cloud, a virtual cloud somewhere, and yet they, and they have all of this vocal data on people, all of a sudden you can literally manipulate a conversation. So if you, let's just say you all of a sudden go missing, again, hopefully this doesn't happen to anyone, but they've got 20 minutes worth of your audio from the Amazon Echo Dot, you can now make, have conversations or leave voicemails for people where it's just literally someone manipulating your vocals on there. This is insane. So I also did a, I guess a mini documentary, I guess if you'd call it a video for YouTube a while back. Um, this one here, you should hopefully be able to see it on the screen now. 
So it's about voice cloning. It's also about a YouTube manipulation on there. So you can, the, the example they use on there, they have Putin on there. They have a video of him. However, they attach some facial sensors to someone and they're able to visually manipulate what that video is doing on there. So this isn't going to be overly in-depth, this video. But hopefully there's enough information in there just to at least set the spidey senses tingling or to maybe make you want to do a bit more investigation into the Amazon Echo Dot or alternatively Voco by Adobe just to, just to keep up to scratch with what's going on in the world. Um, but yeah, the way how I see the future going, more and more so, we are inviting surveillance into the house because, air quote, we've got nothing to hide. So yeah, but who cares if someone's listening to us? I recently watched a film called Snowden, which is about Edward Snowden. I would highly recommend people to watch that. Uh, another precaution that I take myself, which I was doing prior to watching that film... I actually put tape over my laptop, uh, the jack socket, so where you put in your headphones, and also over the camera on there. So I now use an external camera, um, an external microphone, but I know that you just need to look into it a little bit, but if you've got Mark Zuckerberg doing it, you should take, take heed from that, one of the uh, biggest tech guys going. So that's all from me, guys. Hopefully something in this video has interested you or made you want to look into the Amazon Echo Dot a bit more. I'm sure that there probably are other videos on YouTube. I'd be shocked to the core if there weren't about it because the second I heard about this Amazon Echo Dot, saw the video for it, I thought, okay, I, I can see what this is straight away. Or at least from my perception of reality, what I see it as anyway. But that's all from me, guys. So thanks a lot for your time and uh, cheers. Bye.